you may have, you could probably, you can recall that uh, over the last decade or so, a number of times parents and students have complained about the marks that they have received and they have questioned what does, what implications scaling have had on their marks, the exact mark. Yeah? We have also have been receiving uh, applications for rechecking of the marks. Uh, this has uh, time and again arisen and uh, in October this year we had established a committee comprising of professors from University of the South Pacific to examine the basis of scaling, the relevance of scaling, and whether scaling should be maintained, and if, if it is maintained, whether the same formula should be used, if it is to be removed, uh, why, it, why it needs to be removed. Now, scaling was introduced in 1979, uh, when Form 7 was introduced for the first time. And therefore, there was some concern that if we don't scale marks and adjust the science mark, then science students will lose out in terms of entering the university or getting scholarships because they argued at that particular point in time that commerce and arts was e easier uh, stream, science was difficult, and therefore students doing commerce and arts will get much higher mark relative to the students doing science. Now given that they were competing for the same pot of scholarship, limited scholarships, very few or none of the science students would get those scholarships because their marks will be much, much lower than the commerce and arts students. <coughs> Times have changed. Now, for the toppers, they say designated number of scholarships for science, designated number of scholarships for engineering, designated, designated number of scholarships for uh, commerce. So those students who are applying for science, only science students will be applying. And they are the ones who are competing, competing among themselves. Those students who are applying for engineering, the commerce and art students are not applying in that pool. So they are only competing among themselves. <coughs> for TELS, everyone gets it. So that logic no longer exists. However, of the last 40 years, a major problem has arisen. If you look at the raw scores, mean marks have been declining. Out of the 18 subjects, 15 subjects for year 12, 14 subjects for year 13, the mean marks have been declining. Most of them below 50, as low as 28. Why? because the teachers have not been that bothered because anyway the marks will be raised. Students are not that bothered because they know anyway their final mark would be scaled upwards. The maintenance of scaling has perpetuated inefficiency in the system. In regards to this, the Ministry of Education made a submission to Cabinet to discontinue scaling of external examination marks from this year. While suggesting that, the Ministry of Education identified a number of measures that the Ministry of Education will implement this year to raise the performance of students in classroom. We want to address the root cause of low performance of students by scaling marks and arbitrarily raising their marks, we are not addressing the root cause of the problem. And we are not addressing the problem, the real issue, the declining performance of students. The measures that we identified were, one, we will bring back Ministry of Education prepared external exams from year 6 to year 30 standardized exam papers for all schools in Fiji. We are removing administrative loads, administration load from teachers so that teachers spend all their time 
in teaching, class preparation and assessment. We uh, will identify this year teachers which, whom we will train on infant handling to teach mature teachers who will be teaching in class 1 and 2. We are going to identify this year top teachers and we will send them to low performing schools with one point salary increment. I have asked by our director primary to give me a list of 100 couples who are willing to serve in rural underperforming schools. In two months time we will give them one point salary increment and we will send them to these schools. We have got a donation of 5,000 tablets from Government of India. We will distribute them only to maritime and interior schools where we don't have proper computer lab facilities. We are, this year, we are revising the curriculum <coughs> to improve the standard of our curriculum. This Saturday, we are revising close to 15 positions in the curriculum development unit to strengthen our curriculum development unit where these people will be preparing the exam papers, will be preparing the curriculum. This will be our own resource material. So these are few of the list of measures that we have listed to implement to improve student performance in our school system. So that we don't arbitrarily give them marks which disguises the true body of knowledge that these students have. We want the stakeholders, the universities, the labor market to correctly know what is the body of knowledge these students have based on the marks that they have on the transcript. Therefore, these marks will be original raw mark, not any arbitrarily scaled mark. This will be implemented this year. Thank you very much.